Hi guys, uh, Richard Murray here. I've got some awesome advice for you guys on running your fastest five kilometer, how you can go about doing that. I'd like to start off today's session with stating two things. Number one, if you wonder why I've got a dot in the middle of my forehead, I smashed my head into a table. And second of all, Piggy will be joining us today. I hope you guys don't mind, it's really important. He's now part of the show officially, so hopefully he doesn't break or I don't drop him. Those are the two really important things. Uh, and with that out of the way, roll the intro. If you guys could uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, as well as like this video, that would be epic. <laughs> already stuff coming hopefully by the middle of November I'm here to give you guys some advice on the, my top five tips on how to run your fastest 5k um, I'm pretty certain you guys uh, have enjoyed uh, my last couple of running videos I am a triathlete I'm not just a runner um, but I do come from a running background uh, at the start of my career and yeah, I thought I'd give you guys my advice and my tips on how you can run your fastest 5k, how you can go about doing that, uh, what you need to do in what order to try and actually manage to do that. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for any future videos so you guys don't miss out on some great content that you can use going forwards in your sporting endeavors. So my first tip, tip number one for anyone who wants to run faster over five kilometers and number one is consistency. That is the most important thing you need to have if you want to run faster over five kilometers. Uh, so, I mean, there's no point in you being able to uh, run every day for 10 days in a row and then for the next two weeks you can't run because you're extremely fatigued, tired, have no motivation and yeah, not really keen to go out and run out the door. Uh, that's one really important thing. So, you need to be able to uh, run a certain amount of times in the week uh, and you need to back that up week in, week out something that you can maintain, something that you believe you know, you're capable of doing. So maybe you can run three times a week, uh, per se, and you wanna continue to run three times a week. After a couple of weeks, you might think, maybe I can run a few more times. Perhaps in the first few weeks, try and control the amount of times you run so that at the end of that week, you feel a little bit tired, but you're not completely fatigued. And that's really something you need to look into and focus towards to make sure your consistency is there week in, week out, and this will help you to progress and become a better runner and have a better chance of running faster over 5Ks. So my second tip for running your fastest 5K ever would be to be able to get a coach. I think that will really, really help you. Somebody who knows more than you about running um, will really help you uh, be able to improve as an athlete, to be able to run better, and we'll be able to come up with a training plan. So coach and uh, a training plan are the two other really important things you need to have if you want to be able to run faster over 5Ks. Uh, a coach will also really help you uh, focus and you know give feedback. Somebody you can chat to every day. You know, if you're feeling tired or if you're not feeling motivated, the coach will be there to help you, to give you some advice, to tell you how you can improve on your running. What's your technique? A coach can help you with your technique if you're having a lot of injuries from running, which a lot of people probably do uh, when they start running. And yeah, I think a coach and a training plan is gonna be the second most important thing you need to do to be able to running a faster 5K. And now we go on to the third most important thing that you need to have to be able to run a faster 5K, and that is goals. You have to have goals. I remember this year, I had pretty much no goals. I had no racing, Corona was on, I had no real focus. And so I set myself goals. Uh, how can I run my fastest 3K? How can I run my fastest 5K? How can I really hurt myself and run my fastest 10K? Those were all goals that I set for myself. 
um, which really helped me focus on the training, uh, allowed me to have some purpose in life, which is also really important. I'm a professional athlete, so if I have no goals, you know, I have no real purpose, which is not great. So having goals is the third most important thing that you have to have to improve your time over five kilometers. Number four, the fourth most important thing you have to have or you have to be able to try out is review your running. Review what your heart rate's like after each run. Um, at the end of the week, uh, tally up all your mileage that you've done. So if you've done 20k of running in that week or you've done 100k of running in that week, uh, look at what zones you ran in for that week, how you felt, uh, maybe document. Uh, you can get something like Training Peaks um, or there's a lot of other different training uh, apps out there that you can use. Uh, you also must get yourself a running watch. If you don't have a running watch, um, I've got down in the description the running watch I use, a Polar Vantage V. Uh, you guys can head down to the description if you want to go and check it out to see what watch I use. Uh, heart rate belt dosings as well, they're also down in the description. And yeah, to be able to review your data also on Strava, if you don't have a Strava account, um, you don't have to have a Strava account, but it's nice to see where you are compared to other people running. Uh, it really does help you stay focused, stay a bit motivated as well. Strava, you can go out, try and beat your friends, uh, which keeps things a bit exciting. That can be another goal you make for yourself, um, as explained uh, in number three, the third most important one. And yeah, I think having to review your stuff every week will really help you stay focused uh, and definitely see your improvements. You know, if you see your improvements going as you go on in the weeks, that would be extremely good. So on to number five, my fifth most important thing to do to run faster over your 5K would be have fun. What did I write there? Strava hunt. Sometimes I wonder my handwriting is bad. That's one thing I gotta work on. Um, <laughs> but Strava hunting, that's good fun. I would say number five is to have fun. Make sure the reason why you're running is because you're having fun. When you're a happier athlete, you're gonna be a faster athlete. So happiness can translate into running faster. It is proven. Um, and so, yeah, have fun and Strava hunting. Go out, try and beat some Strava records or try and beat your own personal records if you want. So if you have a Strava file, you can, you can go and try and beat your personal record. So uh, that'll keep you motivated as well as when you do racing and things as well, when you set up a race for yourself, which can be your goal, uh, that will help you to stay motivated, stay focused and run faster over five kilometers. Here is the bonus one, number six. You knew it was coming, didn't you? Another important thing to do is uh, set your 5K. So make a time trial, a certain day that you wanna go out, you wanna try and get your five kilometer fastest time ever. You can go out then and do your time trial and you can go and prove to yourself that you can do it. Uh, before that, take an easy week, take a recovery week leading up, take your mileage back by about like 30% um, for that week and go out and see how fast you can run over 5Ks and then you can prove it to yourself that you ran faster over your 5Ks. Hope this video helps uh, and you guys uh, can go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and you guys can get some awesome more insight coming in the future weeks over um, other things you can do to run fast over 5Ks, as well as how to prepare for a triathlon and how to run your fastest 10K ever. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing, guys. Cheers. And that is a wrap. Cut. Roll outro.